Alright, so what I'm doing here, what I gotta do today is take this clutch off, or this master cylinder, because it's leaking somewhere. It's either the master cylinder or the slave cylinder down below. So I just ordered new ones. Don't worry if it looks a little different. Go to your local Napa, Auto Parts, whatever. AutoZone, O'Reilly's. Give them the year, make, model the truck. They'll get you the right thing most of the time. It may look a little different, but it's, it's the same thing. This just has a bigger reservoir on it. So I gotta unbolt these. There's one here. There's 13 millimeter down here too. And then you come in here under the truck, in the cab, right up in there, somewhere, there's going to be a little rod connected to this pedal right here, your third pedal, your clutch. So you see here I have no clutch, it is completely just gone which means I can't shift, which means the truck isn't operational. So, I have to replace those two things. But, Right up here, there's a little rod, connects to the clutch pedal. I just took that off, and when I pull it out up here, I'll show you, well, I'll just show you the new one, actually. So you got this piece, and it goes through there, inside the cab. And this little piece right here, just clips around, there's a spot on your clutch pedal. Put that on it, bolt the, put this in there, but we'll get to that, you'll see. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set this camera up. Sorry about the wind. No, I'm sorry about that guys, it's a half inch. I know I said 13 millimeter earlier, but it turns out it's just a half inch. And be careful not to lose these, set them aside somewhere safe. Like the stick. Alright guys, now we got this off, this is the slave cylinder, which means you might need a flat head to pop it off, it might be stuck. You just get yourself any flat head, get it in there, don't worry about this one, it's done, it's going to the trash. So, as you see, this is older, built better, lasted a lot longer. And I, I suppose you could reuse this. Just put it in there and just reuse it. But, I don't know, we'll, I'll just put the new one in. I already paid for it. So, I'm just going to slap this, pop it in there. Just like that. Try not to dress up the new gasket. Doesn't really seal anything but air coming in and oil coming in if you ruin your new clutch. There you go, good enough. And 
and then at this point you just want to come on in here don't know if you guys can see anything like that pops onto this little nipple on the other side and then you're good and you're gonna come back up over here you can do that later I suppose it's easier to do it when you take that off just to have it ready pedal right now so what we're gonna do now is set that there this we gotta pull that off so you can see what size this line is and it's a half inch so you should get a little bit better leverage go ahead and slap this back on these bolts studs whatever you want to fucking call them Now a line wrench would be better to use, but we got a nice tight fitting regular open end wrench. Everything should be fine. Unscrew that, you can see my reservoir is empty pretty much, stripping a little bit. So we're just gonna set that aside there, wherever. Take your new one. There's going to be a little plastic cap. I already removed mine. Pull it out. And you're just going to thread your fitting back in. Don't put it super tight yet, just yet, anyway. You're going to uh, got to put this little rubber bushing on. Now it comes with a little rubber bushing. You're just going to pop that right over here to it sits down right there and it came undone from my clutch so what I'm gonna do put this barely on just like that I'm gonna go ahead and do the first couple threads of my nuts back on these studs And then I just got to go reconnect my clutch. Now that's back on. We can go ahead and run these nuts back on. about that guys I knocked my camera off and it fell over Ugh. 
This is also my first time recording, changing anything on a truck. You got a lot of vehicles. Well, you'll see that. I'll probably post this video later. Not I might do it today. put that on there you know tight you know just say it's German call it guten tight whatever helps you sleep at night so as you can see this one was being held on by the zip tie right there and you know it's pretty old the seals in here are probably what messed up bad seals drainage leakage whatever probably not here but probably down in the slave cylinder which we will get to in a minute so the line was a half inch down there I don't know what size nuts that I have on down there so we'll just take everything and what we're replacing down here is this guy this is the slave cylinder it is old honestly this is probably where it's leaking is from here down in here got some oil down there yep so the seals in the slave cylinder are what's bad and honestly that's probably what's gonna go bad first is the slave cylinder so we're gonna pull that off I don't think I'm going to be able to use the stand for this camera down here. So we'll just get rid of that for now. My tools are a little disorganized. Everything's in my truck right now. There's the new slave cylinder. And that's what it's called. It's the slave cylinder. It's not racist. And today's world is fucking stupid, so we'll find out. Maybe I'll get... Maybe my YouTube... Ch this video will get pulled down because I said slave. Who fucking knows? What make sound? Okay. And I have, you know, miscellaneous nuts and bolts. A little bit of everything. So the bolts I have on there down there look like they're going to be a 11 millimeter. So I'm going to need that. Which means now I have to find a socket the same size as well. I'm gonna set the camera down for a minute. Right up here. Sorry if you guys can't see anything. There's my puppy dog. Mm, good boy. like it was meant to be before I do anything I don't know who the jackass to put those wires up there was oh wait I know it was me I did it
Yo, there's that. There's a zip tie as well that flew off. Yeah. no more get rid of that oh yeah that's bad it's not good Just want to line that up there. So we got the new one up. Pull out that little plastic stopper. Get your line in there. Remember guys, we're German. We're after guten tight. There we go. So we can go ahead and loosen the bleeder off up here. And it doesn't have to be super loose. We just go hand tight, back it off, but I turn, half turn, turn to a full turn. 
And now we gotta start filling it everything back up. So, just about all clutches require dot three brake fluid. You know, regular dot three, sometimes dot four, but you can read on the cap right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So what we're gonna do is, hopefully, I opened it enough that it'll just go. Cause now we gotta fill that whole line back up. All right guys, now, bleeding the clutch is a pain in the ass by yourself. That's why I've asked my dyke of a sister to give me a hand. Hey! Okay. Wait. Press it. Just hold it to the floor. There's nothing there. I know. Okay. Pump it. Slowly. Pump it. Hold on. Just let it off. <sighs> Haley, you're gonna have to get out and top it off. You ready for me to pour a fluid in? Yeah, just fill it up. On it. Just fill it up. Okay. 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 Get back in there. Pump it slowly. Tell me when you're at the floor. Let off. Okay. Push it. Let off. Push it. Let off. Push it. Does it, does it have resistance? A little bit. More than it did at first. Okay, let off. Push it. No, it's almost done. That's because I just... Okay. You're still at the floor, right? Yeah. Let off. Top the fluid off. Floor. Let off. Push it. Pump it. Okay. Out. 
Are you done with me? Maybe. Oh, there we go. That's clutch again. Yep, we're done. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys, and after you have adequate pressure and your clutch is releasing, or you're engaging again, disengaging, go ahead and pop your little top back on. Don't worry about excess fluid coming out. Fuck it, it's full. That's all you gotta worry about. And yeah, there you go. You now have a functioning clutch again. Super simple. You know, if you're not recording, it's faster. All right, guys, that's it for today.